Hello, I'm Julie Cronshaw. I've been teaching Chiquetti Method Classical Ballet in London for more than 25 years. I graduated from the Royal Ballet School Teachers Training Course in 1986 and danced professionally before setting up my own school. I'm a Fellow of the ISTD in the Chiquetti Method and hold the Enrico Chiquetti Diploma. Most recently, I've made a film called Ballet's Secret Code, which is available on this channel. And for more information, content and even more videos, you can go to the website balletsecretcode.com. I hope you enjoy this video. Who is Siegfried really and what does he represent in terms of the human condition? Siegfried first appears in Act 1 at a party with his tutor and friends. His mother, the princess, appears and asks that he choose a bride. Instead of behaving like a prince about to reach manhood and take up his responsibility to govern a kingdom, he would rather remain carefree and unattached. This keeps him stuck in his adolescence and could lead to debauchery because we see how the old tutor is a character of dubious moral behaviour, lecherous and dissolute. Fortunately, Siegfried realises his duties, somewhat reluctantly, and on the last night of freedom decides to go swan hunting with his best friend Benno. This is where it gets interesting. He goes hunting swans with a bow and arrow at the start, but he's not really searching for swans, rather he's searching for himself. Then, just as he's about to shoot the swan, she miraculously changes into a dazzling white-clad, enchanted swan queen. Siegfried at the lake has met not only his soulmate, but also his soul, in the form of Odette. The symbols of attachment, both ethereal and corporeal, abound, and they're reiterated throughout the choreography. Odette either wraps herself around Siegfried, suggesting the graceful form of the swan with its long neck and showing a physical and earthly attachment to him, or in contrast, trying to fly away from him, as if to suggest that the soul's only attached to the body as long as that body is corporeal. Many myths and legends around the world feature journeys, which are as much about the inner development of the hero or heroine as the outer physical journey. The inner quest in all spiritual traditions seeks the kingdom of the self and it's where God resides. Just a reminder, I've made a film called Ballet Secret Code. It's a one hour documentary available on YouTube on this channel for free. It took a long time to make, I'm very proud of it and it's all about ballet technique. You can find it on YouTube or click on the link below.